Hi everybody, so I've had a bit of a break since my last video. This is the last video I'm filming. I filmed the, yeah, Hagsi Review, my review of the year, my book haul, um, my plan for 2022 and this video all in the same day. So after this point I will be wearing a different outfit. <laughs> But yes, so if you've gone through all, all of those so far, well done you for doing that. But now we need to find out the first five books I'm going to be reading for 2022. As explained in my um, plan for 2022 video, I have picked out 25 books that um, right now I want to read from my to be read list. All 25 of them are in here and I have all 25 on my sofa as well so when I pick them out I can actually physically show you the book as well. So I'm just, remember when I, back in the day when I used this jar, I'm just going to give it a shake and then I'm going to choose five completely at random. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so number one is... 84 Charing Cross Road. So the first book you're going to be getting for 2022 a review of is 84 Charing Cross Road. Okay, what's next? Next is The Night Circus by Erin Morganston. You have no idea. I think I've had this book for about 10 years and I have not read it but I'm going to finally read I am so happy that this got picked so early on because I, I it's kind of haunted me um so yay um I am after I've picked the five I'm going to talk about these more in depth and read the stuff on the back just so you know um but yeah oh oh gosh I've got uh, you go back in <laughs> um this is the Turn of the Screw and Other Stories by Henry James. I have just actually got from Audible a Henry James audio collection. So I think I might start listening to that when I'm reading this. Woohoo! Okay, that's number three. So number four is... Oh, what's this one tied around my finger? Love and Louis the Fourteenth by Antonia Fraser. Woohoo! Right, we're gonna go to France and learn about Louis. Where hey, all right. And the last one, guys, for the time being, um, is whoop, How to Be a Heroine by Samantha Ellis. Oh, brilliant! That is great. Right, I'm just gonna close this jar, put it aside. There we go. And where is it? How to be a heroine. Okay, so those are my first five reads of the year. So, 184 Charing Cross Road, um, it covers uh, Helen Hanoff uh, in 1949. So it says, in 1949, Helen Hanoff, a poor writer with an antiquarian taste in books, wrote to Marks & Co booksellers at 84 Charing Cross Road in search of a rare edition she was unable to find in New York. Her books were dispatched with, with polite but brisk efficiency. But seeking further treasures, Helen soon found herself in regular correspondence with the bookseller Frank Dool, laying siege to his English reserve with her warm and warmth and wit. And as letters, books and quips crossed the ocean, a friendship flourished that would endure for 20 years. And all of their letters back and forth have been put into this book. Unfortunately, the bookshop doesn't, doesn't exist anymore. It's a McDonald's. Um, but yeah, I, I really want to read this, this collection of letters and now I am. So onto the Night Circus by Mary Erin Morganster, this book which has haunted my bookcase for at least a decade. Um, so the circus arrives without warning. No announcement precedes it. It's simply there when yesterday it was not. The Night Circus, oh sorry, uh, that's a quotation and that's it. There's nothing else written on it. It's about, yeah, a circus that pops up overnight and people who are affected by it. But that's it. You don't get any more description than that. So there we go. Then on to Henry James, The Turn of the Screw and Other Stories. I read The Turn of the Screw when I was about 13, I think, 14 for a school. But that was the only Henry James story in that, that's this collection book that was read. And I hadn't read any others. Um, so, yeah, I... 
says a young inexperienced governess is charged with the care of miles and flora two small children abandoned by their uncle and his grand uh, his grand country house she sees the figure of an unknown man on the tower and his face at a window it is peter quint the master's desolate uh, desolate valet when he has come for little miles but peter quint is dead so that's the turn of the screw and if you have watched the netflix series the haunting of blind manor that is a kind of a modern retelling but kind of not quite um of of the turn of the screw but also incorporated other stories by henry james so i'm hoping the other stories are in here um but we will find out and as i said i've got an audible um uh, BBC Radio 4 uh, Henry James collection which I downloaded with my recent credit um, just before Christmas yes before Christmas and I never I haven't listened to it yet so mm, perfect timing for that then we have Love and Louis the 14th by Antonia Fraser love the cover um, so mistresses wives mothers and daughters Antonia Fraser's brilliantly explores the relationship between the sunken and the women in his life this includes not only Louis the uh, Louis the Fourteenth's mistresses, particularly Louise de, la Val de Villiers, Athenius de Mon Monster. I'm I'm completely butchering those names. I'm so sorry. Um, and Madame de, de Maintenon, Maintenon, but also the wider story of his relationship with the women in general, including his mother Anne of Austria and his two sister-in-laws, who were the Duchess de Anglais. Orleans, Orleans, in succession, Henriette Anne and Lislette, his wayward illegitimate daughters, and lastly, Adelaide, the beloved child wife of his grandson. I know I've completely butchered those names, <laughs> so, you know, let's just let that pass. I will get the names right when I do my review, of course. And then finally, How to Be a Heroine by Samantha Ellis. I adored her book about Anne Bronte, and I bought this straight after, never got round to reading it. And now I will. Um, where's the blurb? Oh, sorry. Ah. On a pilgrimage to Wuthering Heights, Samantha Ellis found herself arguing with her best friend about what, her what heroine was. Jane Eyre or Kathy Earnshaw. She was all for wild, free, passionate Kathy, but her friend found Kathy silly, a snob who betrays Heathcliff for Edgar and makes them all unhappy, while courageous Jane makes her own way. And that's when Samantha realised that all her life she's been trying to be a Kathy when she should have been trying to be a Jane. So she decided to look again at her heroines, the girls, women, books, and that have shaped her life and the world and her world and how and how to live. Some of them stood up to scrutiny. She will always love Lizzie Bennet. Some of uh, some of them most decidedly did not. Turns out Kathy Carr from What Kathy Did isn't a carefree rebel. She's a drip. There were revelations. The real heroine of Gone with the Wind is Melanie. Joyous reunions with Anne of Green Gables. Poignant memories with Sylvia Plath. And tearful goodbyes with Lucy Honeychurch. And then there's Jilly Cooper. How to Be a Heroine is a fun, touching, inspiring exploration of the role of heroines in our favourite books in all of our lives and how they change over time, for better or for worse, just as we do. So yay! So they're my first picks of 2022. I am super excited, guys. I hope you are as well. So I am going to be reviewing, in this order, 84 Charing Cross Road, The Night Circus, The Turn of the Screw and Other Stories, Love and Louis the Fourteenth, and How to Be a Heroine. So I am going to be starting this probably like straight away. My plan is I am back at work on Tuesday the 4th. So probably by the end of that week is when you're going to get your review for this or later, depending on how I feel. Because as I said, I am I'm taking my time to if I want to do other hobbies, do other hobbies. So yeah. I'll be back as soon as I am finished reading. We'll just see when that is. All right, guys. Bye.